Well, the number of people who cannot pay their mortgage is out of control. Right now, one out of every 10 homeowners in Illinois cannot make their payments. Filing bankruptcy is one way that you might be able to save your home, but is it a good option? Bankruptcy attorney David Siegel wrote a book called Chapter 7 Success, The Complete Guide to Surviving Personal Bankruptcy. He joins us now to talk about your best options. Okay, first of all, you know, bankruptcy just sounds like a bad word. I don't, I don't like that word. But what's better, foreclosure or bankruptcy? It's always better to save your home if you can. If you're in foreclosure, you can either surrender the home and lose all of your equity, or you can try and save it, which is what I would recommend, under Chapter 13 of the U.S. Bankruptcy Code. So how can filing bankruptcy save your home? They, don't, they still don't take it away from you? Well, here's how it works. If you're behind on your mortgage, the mortgage company typically wants a full payment to get caught up. Most homeowners can't do that, so they reorganize. They file a plan to repay the mortgage arrears over the next three to five years, while at the same time making their regular mortgage payment. So it's really a lifesaver. gives them a long period of time to repay their mortgage arrears. Okay, let's talk about the two different types of bankruptcy, because there's Chapter 13 and there's Chapter 7 as well. And I'm sorry, there's a, some noise going on here, and it's not me. You hear that? I, I'm sorry. All right. We're going to continue to fix this audio problem, and if not, we're going to have to cut out of this. But um, tell me about Chapter 13 before uh, you have to file that if you were served foreclosure papers, correct? Chapter 13 is the best way to save a home if you have the ability to reorganize. Uh, not everybody can do a Chapter 13, but if you have recovered from whatever financial issue you had, whether you lost your job and now you're back employed, or whether you had an illness and now you're back in good health and able to make your payments, Chapter 13 is the best option for everybody. The homeowner gets to save their home and save their equity. The mortgage company gets made whole. Even though they're not paid on the terms they would like, they do get paid over a period of time. And investors in the stock market, everybody benefits if the homeowner can save their home and repay their debt. Yeah, because a lot of times people think if they file for Chapter 13, then that will forever be an X on their credit report. That's not the case? It's not the case. It's much better to save your home and have the ability to either sell, refinance, or continue to live in the home than to surrender it and do a Chapter 7 and walk away from your home. Okay. And that's the next question I was going to ask you. What about Chapter 7? Chapter 7 is a fresh start bankruptcy. That's for people who have a series of unsecured debt they don't have a lot of assets, and they need a fresh start. That's typically the case when someone is not trying to save a home or is not trying to save their property. Okay. And let's talk about your book very quickly. The, book is, is the book is Chapter 7 Success. Uh, the bankruptcy laws were changed October 17 of 2005. We're coming up on the two-year anniversary soon, and there's a lot of confusion still on does bankruptcy exist, how does it work, what do I have to do to file, can I do it. This book lays it out in layman's terms, how to file a Chapter 7 bankruptcy, not by themselves, but with an attorney, but it gives them the answers to a lot of the questions that they need. What documents they need to prepare, what do they have to provide to their attorney, whether or not they qualify under the new laws. Okay, and you can get more information, of course, by going to our website, and that is myfoxchicago.com. Just click on the Good Day Chicago tab. Thanks for coming in. Thank you.